Fog and mist are two natural phenomena that many people confuse because, at first glance, they look almost identical. Both create that dreamy, mysterious scene where the world feels quieter and closer than usual, and both involve tiny droplets of water suspended in the air. But despite their similarities, fog and mist have important differences that affect visibility, weather forecasting, transportation safety, and even how we interpret the landscapes around us. Today, we're diving deep into the science and story behind fog and mist, what sets them apart, how they form, and why understanding their differences helps us appreciate the atmosphere in a new way. So sit back, relax, and let's clear the air, literally. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To understand fog and mist, we must first understand humidity. The air around us can only hold a certain amount of water vapor, and when it reaches that limit, known as the point of saturation, any extra moisture begins to condense into water droplets. This happens when the air cools down to what meteorologists call the dew point. When the air temperature falls to that level, the invisible water vapor transforms into tiny droplets we can see. Fog and mist both form this way, but the extent of that condensation and how thickly it fills the air is what distinguishes one from the other. In other words, the science behind them is largely the same. It's the intensity that makes all the difference. The simplest way to think about the difference is this. Fog is basically a cloud on the ground, while mist is a light, thin version of fog. Fog is dense. It dramatically reduces visibility, sometimes down to just a few meters. When fog rolls in, buildings, road signs, and even the car in front of you can disappear into a gray wall. Mist, on the other hand, is more delicate. It casts a soft veil over the environment, giving everything a slightly blurred, almost cinematic look, but you can still see far ahead. Meteorologists typically define fog as reducing visibility to less than one kilometer, while mist allows visibility to stay above that level. It's a surprisingly simple definition, but it's also the most widely accepted scientific distinction between the two. Another difference lies in the size and concentration of droplets. Fog contains more water droplets per cubic meter, and those droplets are usually slightly larger. That's why fog feels heavier and thicker, almost like the air is pushing back against you. Mist, however, has fewer droplets, and they tend to be smaller, making the air feel lighter and easier to navigate through. If you've ever walked through mist in the early morning, you'll notice that you don't get as wet as you would walking through fog, where moisture can cling to your clothes, hair, and skin. The droplet size might sound like a tiny detail, but it has a big effect on how we experience the atmosphere. Fog also tends to form under specific weather and environmental conditions. One common type is radiation fog, which develops at night when the ground cools rapidly and chills the air just above it. This type of fog is common in valleys and open fields, especially during calm, clear nights. Another type is advection fog, which forms when warm, moist air moves over a cooler surface, something you often see near coastlines. Mist, meanwhile, often appears when the air is still cool but warming up, like in the early hours after sunrise, as the morning light begins to heat the ground. Mist frequently shows up near waterfalls, lakes, or after rainfall when moisture is evaporating but hasn't fully dispersed. Even though fog and mist seem like simple atmospheric effects, they play important roles in our environment. Fog cools the land, 
provides moisture to plants in dry regions and influences local climates, especially in places like coastal deserts, where fog can be a major source of hydration for vegetation. Mist, while not as influential, contributes to the atmospheric moisture cycle and helps create the serene morning scenes that many photographers and nature lovers adore. Both also influence human activity. Fog can delay flights, slow down ships, and drastically reduce road safety. Mist, on the other hand, is usually harmless, though it can still create slippery surfaces and mild visibility challenges in certain conditions. What's interesting is how fog and mist shape our emotions and imagination. Fog often symbolizes mystery, suspense, and the unknown in movies and literature. Think of scenes in horror films where the fog hides what's lurking in the distance. Mist, however, is used to create calm, peaceful, or magical atmospheres. A misty forest, a mist-covered lake, or a sunrise lifting the morning mist evokes beauty rather than fear. The emotional contrast between fog and mist mirrors their physical differences. Fog obscures, mist softens. So while fog and mist appear similar, they occupy different roles in nature and our daily lives. Fog is the heavier, denser, more dramatic phenomenon, one that shapes travel, weather patterns, and even survival in some ecosystems. Mist is the gentle, lighter version, present but not overpowering, beautiful but not hazardous. Both are reminders of how dynamic and complex our atmosphere truly is. They show us that even something as simple as water suspended in the air can transform how we see and experience the world. By understanding the science behind them, we not only become more informed observers of weather, but also more appreciative of the subtle wonders that nature paints into our everyday environment. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.